And of course, Essen celebrated Oprah. <laughs> Welcome to the very first National Oprah Winfrey Show! When I learned that Oprah Winfrey was going to be the first black woman to have a nationally syndicated daytime talk show, I was incredulous and thrilled. How could that not be an Essence cover story? And Essence was the first magazine to do a cover story about me and recognize me as a national figure. And that first cover shoot, I was so nervous. I'd never done a cover shoot in my life. This was for models. And it turned out to be a spectacular cover because it was just full frontal face. It was like, announcing this face to the world. As a young girl, do I remember when the Oprah Winfrey show aired? Of course I do. I was front and center. I would stand in front of the television, rocking back to and fro, and my mother would yell at me, you're not made of glass, sit down. I know all the black people know that saying. But I was mesmerized. Four o'clock, ABC, appointment television. It really started out as conflict television. My guests today call themselves skinheads. Two of the white supremacists who were on that show. What do you think when you see yourself on that tape? It really brings tears to my eyes. Really? Yes. <laughs> really? Yes, so that kid was lost. Mm. I think a lot of people forget that. She was trying to bring people together from different groups and have them talk it out. The goal for me was to speak to women where they were. That was black women, white women, Asian women, brown women all over this country. Ultimately to let them know that whatever crises or dysfunction or challenges or joys or triumphs that they were going through, they were not alone. You, you are not alone. She changed the consciousness of millions of people throughout the world. And then what she did as a businesswoman. So we kept putting her on covers. 